Lucia, um, he was, you know, covering up for for the administration or certain people there. Why why that sudden change? Do you know of anything that occurred? Mom, if there's one thing about Secretary Neri that would constantly amaze me is his unpredictability. Okay. <laughs> so he's completely, uh, meaning people who knows him can, I guess, would agree with me. He's completely unpredictable. And I guess that that is one of his traits that has worked for him so well. Okay. Um, you also, uh, Secretary Neri also testified that he had told GMA na merong 200 uh, and GMA had told him to proceed uh, with the deal, no? Okay. Um, that was his testimony, which, which you were not here when he gave that. And then you also testified that um, there was a 200, yes. Who didn't say what? Go ahead, please. Uh, just uh, with indulgence of my colleague, if I, if I remember correctly, uh, so just, just in the interest of fairness, no? uh, Secretary Neri uh, testified that uh, the president told him, don't accept it. And then at that point, he invoked executive privilege. But he, he testified, do you recall, he testified that there was, there was an offer of something, right? I thought that was a 200. Th that came from uh, Abalos, that, that he reported to the president. Okay. So anyway, um, there was a conversation between the president and, and Secretary Neri. And at that point, I, ha I had personally asked him, I think a few other senators had asked him, what was the president's reaction? And he did say proceed with the project. And I was specifically asking him, um, did she express surprise that there seemed to be an allegation of uh, that, that Secretary Neri was already imputing um, certain statements to certain people and there were allegations being made and then he didn't he refused to answer at that point so my question to you is given that he that you have um, been you know with him around this time are you privy did, did he share his sentiments with you about that conversation with the president uh, yun na nga po, that uh, for him that was the first time that uh, the president lost uh, all the uh, her moral authority over him. Apa. So when when you made that statement earlier that he said she has lost his moral her her moral authority over him, that was in the context of that conversation Apa. that they had had. Yeah. And again, another clarification. Um, this is in connection with the the testimony also of Secretary Neri. The amount of two hundred. It was not. It was never specified to my recollection. What two hundred units of what? And first, I think we had assumed that it was pesos, even in media reports. But when you came into the picture, yung usapan was dollars. So can, can, you, can you shed light as to what this, this 200 was? Ma'am, uh, I guess I mentioned it during my first uh, appearance. Uh, it was very clear that uh, Chairman Abalos, nung nakaakbay pa siya sa akin, nung kaliwang kamay niya, uh, papunta kami ng locker room, sinabi niya po sa akin na, June, yung 200 million ninyo, maku ibibigay ko yun sa inyo the day after mapirmahan ng ano 200 po. million ninyo? Apo. Okay. Dalawang tanong. Sino yung ninyo at saka 200 million what? Si 200 million pesos po para kay Secretary Neri. So, so sabi ni Secretary, Ab ni Chairman Abalos, 200 million ninyo referring to you and... Secretary Neri. Apo, apo. Okay. Kasi and po, then, si he was pertaining to the NEDA approval at ang NEDA chief po nun, si Secretary Neri. Okay. And um, uh, 200 million, anong intindi mo? 200 million units of, o oh, ano yun? Anong, uh, pesos po yun. Pesos. Pesos okay. po yun. Apo. Kasi po pag ganyang usapan, hindi naman sabihin, bibigyan ko kayo ng 200 million pesos. Bibigyan ko kayo ng 200 million ninyo. Ililiwanag ko lang yung perception mo kung ano yung apa. Kung 200 million ng ano. No? Apa. Apa. Um, and then also you had testified the other day that um, Executive Secretary Eduardo Romita, Press Secretary Ignacio Bunia, and Chen Chairman Romulo Neri are there. Are solidly behind President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. We in the cabinet firmly believe that the president is doing much for our country, especially for the economy, and she deserves to finish her mandated term until 2010. The cabinet members believe that all the allegations by Mr. Losada should be discussed in court, which is the proper venue in accordance with the due process of law. 
While the country's problems are deeply rooted, we firmly believe that political, social, and economic reforms are achievable under the leadership of President Glory Macapagal Arroyo with the support and cooperation of political and social leaders. We in the cabinet will stay with her and continue to focus on our work. We will not allow ourselves to be distracted from by political noises. The cabinet members take pride in working with the president in uplifting the lives of our people. Thank you. Maraming salamat. Yan po ang ating uh, Executive Secretary Eduardo Ermita na binasa po yung joint statement ng mga miyembro ng kabinete. At ngayon po ay bubuksan natin ang ating uh, Q&A. Uh, this is not a regular uh, press conference, so uh, we will entertain only three questions. Per, per reporter. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, una po natin... Uh, Kikilalanin ang Pangulo ng Malacanang Press Corps, si Ginoong Paolo Romero ng Philippine Star. Uh, for Secretary Neri, uh, what do you say to the testimony of uh, Mr. Lozada quoting you as saying that the President is evil? Well, uh, I know June is very sincere with me and cares for me, but uh, I really cannot uh, recall that statement. I don't remember. Uh, I, I cannot talk to know. I'm trying to recall whether I cannot remember that statement. So that is not a flap denial. You, you said you don't recall. You may have I said I do not recall, it. frankly. Uh, what, what I really recall is the fact that I explained the nature of the political economy and in, you know, uh, how, how the, the whole uh, uh, oligarchic state is structured and so forth. That's about it. That's, I can, what, that, that much I can remember. So he also mentioned that you, meant, you spoke of the president as the center of this uh, ecosystem of uh, corruption. I don't think so. Uh, we had to map all the political players in the whole system. And of very little to do with ZTE. I mean, you know, that meeting was more on discussing the whole political economy. And I gave my usual lecture on the political economy. And to shorten it, I just put it into one brief framework. And I think we all agreed that this was the nature of the Philippine state, the oligarchic state, and the players concerned, and how, you know, I challenged them at the time, can you give me a solution on to how to get out of this whole, whole uh, political economic structure that we are in? And we all confessed, we're stopped. Uh, in the end, my, my feeling really is that it's only, it's, the executive can do it with the cooperation of the rest of society, but we have to unite behind, behind these reforms. No one, no one person, no one, no one institution, not the Senate alone, not the black and white, not the church alone, not the uh, military, uh, nobody can do it alone. And I feel that the executive, with its strong leadership, will be able to master the strong political will to do it, but we all have to get together. We have, all have to unite. That's why I'm really very bothered by all this political noise going on. Because we will forget the nature of the Philippine state, the nature of the deep, deeply seated political problems and economic problems that we have, and the need for us to work together for its proper solution. Sir, what about yung allegations of 500,000 given to uh, Losada? I don't know anything about it. Uh, uh, to Secretary Armita, there are talks that some of the uh, economic team uh, members are uh, on their way out, uh, especially there are talks of uh, Secretary Tevez. Uh, sir, signatory ba sila dito sa manifesto na nilabas ang cabinet? Yes, there, there are no talks about anybody getting out of the cabinet. So, so I, I stand by this statement I just read. <coughs> Nobody in the cabinet. I mean, everybody in the cabinet is sticking out with us. We stand together. Kinikilala po natin si Binibining Chris Hussain. Ano naman yung text yan? Tapos sabi, sabi, nung, sabi sa akin ng boses na yun na uh, uh, ko, sino ba to? Hindi, George na lang ako. George, uh, si George so. Pinapagalitan niya ako. Natigilan ko na raw yung paggamit ko ng telepono. Tinawagan kayo sa cellphone niyo? Para sa cellphone po nung, nung, ano, nung, isang nung kasama niya. Ganun po, pinapasa lang sa akin yung telepono. Uh, ginang Lusada kayo eh na na-interview na ilang beses, narinig natin sa lesa inyo, yung pinapirma kayo nung request, di umano. Yung nakita na huon nyo to si um, Atty. Bautista at saka si Colonel Mascarinas, sabay, sa Lasaluba. Apa? Doon lang huon nyo nakita, itong dalawang to. Anong, doon ko sila nakita ng sabay. Pero si Mascarinas, nakita ko nung dalhin nila yung kapatid ko. Nung... February 5 ng gabi. 
Mm. Yung nor- ang tinuho ni Tony Bautista, paniwala niya, abogado siya ng inyong kapatid. Yung bang nakita ko ba niyo sa pagkakataon na yun na nagkakaroon ng diskusyon yung supposed to be abogado niya at yung kliyente? <coughs> Sino ko kinakausap ni Tony Bautista nung nakita ko niya? Nung nakita ko sila, nandun sila sa second floor, si Tony Bautista at saka si Colonel Mascarinas, kausap si June. Yeah. Alam mo niyo ko nung pinag- narinig niyo yung pinag-uusapan? Hindi ko narinig ang pinag-usapan, pero nagpunta ko doon para sunduin si June dahil mayroong magkakausap sa kanya sa taas. So, I stayed with them. Nandun si Colonel Mascarinas, si Attorney Bautista, at saka nakiupo na rin ako doon pag alis ng kapatid ko. Kasi, Kapat, kapatid doon yung si June? Kapati, si June, si June. Si, pag alis ng June. Opo. Ah. Kasi gusto nga nila akong papirmahin doon sa... Uh, letter requesting protection from the PNP. But that was already Wednesday evening. Wednesday evening. And while we were there, I was there, si, uh, magkakaharap kaming tatlo, si Colonel Mascarinas at saka si Attorney Bautista nag-uusap. Ako, I was just sitting there na parang invisible. Ngayon, sinabi nito ni Attorney Bautista, O, oh, bukas, kayo ang igigisa nito sa Senado. Hindi, sabi naman ni, ano to, ni Colonel Mascarinas, wala akong problema. Nakahanda kami. And then, they started talking. Question and answer, ganon. May dalawa lang questions na parang nag, na talaga nag-register sa sa akin. Kasi kumbaga sa ano nakikinig lang ako sa usapan nila. One is yung tinanong ni Attorney Bautista si Colonel Mascarini. The bureaucrats of NEDA, they're all very good people. They do their job well. Uh, but uh nga, insert may mga instances lang po that Uh, upon yeah, instructions from uh, secretary or the, the the higher authorities, and then they you know sumusunod sila on how to ano tinan tailor fit na lang po yung ano yung approval. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Senator Gordon. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Good afternoon to everybody. Good afternoon to the witnesses. Chairman, before I begin, I'd like to make a manifestation. Last Monday,